welcome back in this video we are going to create a load balancer and we are going to we you see we have two instances so both of them are web servers now we will actually use our load balance to uh, flip between sites basically what happens is a load balancer uh, it divides your traffic into your onto your web servers so the concept is that you have a load balancer and you have two web servers if you give out the address of a web server everybody is connecting to just one web server for example your uh, they have this this address they will they will everybody is going to connect to this one and this one just stands by doing nothing standing idle and people will only turn to it if they face problem with this one but they have to manually enter the address for this machine but the load balancer sits on top of both or all the servers and you connect you actually give uh, you put all these machines behind that load balancer and what happens is that every you give out the load balances address basically in route 53 dns you do the settings that uh, everybody is just going to your website www whatever and that load balancer actually redirecting them to all any server like in my case it just two but if they're like more it will send them to like it will distribute traffic amongst all of those servers uh, <clears throat> you can see for the uh, they are in two different availability zone you can see that they have different IP addresses so <clears throat> we're gonna well, it's a hard it's a lot harder for people to go to different IP address and it's a lot easier for just go to one load balancer and they don't have to worry they just get to your website so enough theory let's get started uh, but before we start let me see if both of uh, can't copy it control C and let's see if my websites are up and running because if you remember in the video when we created this uh, one of the web server was not working <clears throat> well good to go both servers are up and running let's close it and create the load balancer <clears throat> so for load balancer we have to go down here and that is your load balancing and you have the load balancers we click on that So there is no load balancers uh, already and we're gonna create a brand new one we have three options one is the uh, HTTP the other one is TCP and third one is uh, classic and it's going to be retired soon I believe it's already grayed out uh, we can create one but it's uh, these are the new one the difference between these two is this one is uh, you can see application load balancer uh, if you are available uh, sorry if you are aware of um, uh, what is it uh, the what is called the se seven layers of uh, networking there's a specific name it's it I'm just forgetting the name actual name so it, it this one can uh, look all the way into your layer 7 the application layer it can see the code it can determine what this traffic is about this one is just based on your layer 4 networking uh, the based on protocols we're gonna go create the HTTP one so here you have to na name it I'm gonna name it uh, load balancer just a generic name and this is important internet facing or internal so we want it to be inter internet facing internal is i can give you an example when we uh, i was working for spectrum we had a internal uh, help uh, i'm gonna pause the video i have to go somewhere i'm gonna just uh, walk out for maybe one minute sorry about that uh, i thought maybe work called but uh, everything seems good so i was expecting a text message basically um so <clears throat> the when i was working for um, spectrum we had an internal not a database but uh, a help uh, guide or what you would call uh, like a wiki more like a wiki and uh, 
most of the time it was uh, um, not a pleasant experience waiting for it to load like you would expect some it to load faster and especially when the clock is running you have to be in certain number of uh, minutes to uh, uh, get off of that call that is actually 600 seconds uh, meaning 10 minutes so <clears throat> yeah if that site is loading a minute to load uh, you get a little bit um, irate or frustrated and whatever you want to call so in that case you would be making it internal because that uh, uh, those websites uh, they are hosted only internally you can only access it from within the network and the other thing is that the, add to the frustration just to talk about that wiki uh, more uh, like how many people were accessing it uh, just internal employees make it faster anyway so internet facing this load balance is going to be next is going to be add listener we already have an http listener we're gonna uh, leave it to that uh, we have only three availability zone in my uh, region that is ohio i'm gonna use all three of them so basically i'm saying that uh, my uh, we wanted maximum so for redundancy and i believe if i don't select to see it's not gonna see my server i will test it out later on <coughs> but th this is it uh, like uh, my uh, servers can any be uh, on uh, any of these uh, uh, availability zone and they will be able to connect to my uh, my load balancer and my load balancer will balance out the uh, or distribute the load across those servers so we know that i have a server in a and i have another one in c so let's go mm. I think we, we we are good with that right. so we're gonna simply go to security settings and any secure listener so secure listener would be HTTPS right here uh, we're not worried about that uh, but I should mention that once you when you are clicking on that uh, uh, in here Mm, open <clears throat> ec2 let me actually show you so when you're running on this instance and you click on your open address and it's failed to loading you see it's not loading it's taking its time because of the https right there yeah we did we only if you remember from the security video uh, we only uh, enter a port 80 if i remove that s and press enter my website loads instantaneously that's uh, what this is about make in production definitely you have to put HTTPS there as well since we did not that's why I'm just showing you if you run into this error you would know what happened next it's asking uh, for the uh, security group we know that we've been using launch wizard 2 yours name could be different so i'm just using this one so it will take the setting from the, within this uh, security group next the routing for the routing new target group i'm gonna name my target group as web servers web servers <coughs> they are instances uh, not an ip addresses so protocol is http we can leave everything to default here path is always like look for the index html file within the http if you remember from the w ward slash www slash um, html register targets this is where the we get to add um, our server so you know we have only two servers running and we can add both from here but i'm gonna add only one the reason is that i'm gonna show you the other way around that uh, what if you create another server afterwards after creating this load balancer how to add that third server to your load balancer so let's go just adding the first aslan i'm gonna add to registered so this one is registered now this one is uh, behind my load balancer so if uh, i access my load balancer my load balancer in town will take me to this address <coughs> for that to get to that address let's go to review you can see that i have left this uh, alone 
in the next steps I will add this and we will see how load balancer really works next is review you can see everything is same what we have done in the past uh, steps it's internal internet facing all that good stuff and it's just a review I'm gonna hit create successfully created load balancer green is always good <laughs> so now this one is provisioning it's in the state of uh, like it's uh, taking its time to go live I'm gonna pause this video here until this state changes so I will be back shortly all right so it's been good uh, maybe 10 minutes let's uh, refresh and see if the state is green it's active now now if uh, we go down we should have its uh, DNS name that is so if I access this DNS name it should take me to the Aslan web server so let's try that here <clears throat> I'm gonna paste it and you can see that this name is now resolving to Aslan <clears throat> doesn't matter how many time I refresh it look on the top right here and that it's refreshing each time it's going to Aslan so right now it's only resolving to Aslan now I'm going to show you how to add the other server into it and then we will see that it will actually distribute traffic amongst both those uh, servers so load balancer is right here other there is target groups target groups are the servers that we can add into it <clears throat> we have a target group already we named it web server that is the our load balancer we click on it and we click on targets so the only other target available is uh, what it is register targets we click on register targets and right there <clears throat> so we know that we already registered this one we can now register the other one basically what's uh, well, uh, the reason I'm doing it showing you you can see Aslan is already in here so basically why I'm doing this step is just to you know if you have a question that hey I had a load balancer already created then situation or need arises and I go and create two more servers how do I add them to the same web server uh, so, sorry same uh, load balancer so this is how you do it I'm gonna add the second one and <clears throat> we're gonna click on include as pending below you can see that uh, this one is pending register pending targets it's registering and now we I'm gonna pause the video again just because right now this one is healthy but this is initializing so let's wait for it to be healthy and then we'll go and check the uh, load balancer DNS name again all right so I think it's been a couple of minutes I'm gonna try to refresh and see if the oh the sta uh, status already automatically changed that so these pages are uh, active pages all right so that's good uh, they are both healthy let's go to the DNS name let's go to the load balancer and this is the DNS name copy it one more time and if everything is uh, I have done everything correctly they should resolve to both uh, uh, web servers so we know one says hello I am Aslan the other one says hi hello I am Imran twice so let's refresh it you can see so basically what's happening is that that load balancer is sending traffic to both servers now before I wrap this video I want to terminate one of my instance for two reasons I don't want to get charged mainly the second is I want to show you what happens if one server goes down obviously if one server goes down and our D uh, our domain name was pointing to that servers IP address which would be uh, let me show you actually EC2 <clears throat> so for example my IP address was uh, uh, pointing towards this uh, sorry my domain name was pointing to this IP address and if this IP address goes to uh, this uh, server goes down nobody can access my website but now with load balancer 
my IP address is actually resolving to the load balancer uh, name, DNS name. For that reason, what happens is that once my server, this one, <coughs> goes down, which uh, I'm going to stop it now, it's stopping. <coughs> my load balancer will actually simply start sending traffic to the other server that is still running think of it about as like natural disaster anything like power outage or there was a flood or you know there was like um, uh, something happened the whole uh, uh, the data center went offline it can happen we actually had a center to that uh, went totally offline luckily it was an issue with the isp but yeah anything can happen in that case it will start uh, the load balancer will start sending traffic to the other web servers and you know there's no downtime to your website even though there is something <laughs> major going on some people are you know pulling their hairs uh, but your website is up and running so by now it should be stopped i'm gonna actually terminate it let's go terminate it's while it's being terminated let's see what happens now i should not see i am aslan it's you can see i am keep refreshing i my it's staying to this server it's not even bothering going to the other one it detected that that's been gone down and it's simply sending all the traffic to this server so this is it for uh, our load balancer if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i'll see you in the next one next video and in the next year happy new year